What can we say about the motion of this scene? If we know that there are two regions corresponding to water and a bird, then we know the object segmentation. We also know what objects are capable of moving independently. So, for example, the bird will be moving independently from the water. We also know the depth ordering. So, in this case, the bird will be moving in front of the water. We also know the, the geometry of some of the objects. And so, for example, the, the surface of the water it will be roughly planar. We also know the type of motion of some objects. For example, the bird will be moving non-rigidly. So traditional optical flow methods have ignored the, the content of the image. Uh, they've used low-level image cues like correspondences or edges. Um, as an example, uh, here I'm showing the result from discrete flow, which is one of the top performing uh, flow methods. As we can see, the flow is blurry, indicating that uh, it might be inaccurate, especially at motion boundaries and in untextured regions like the water. For the same sequence, semantic optical flow produces much better results. So how does it work? We start from a semantic segmentation of the scene, and we divide it into three categories according to its motion. These are stuff, planes, and things. Planes are regions that, that are roughly planar, like the roads, sky, water, and we model these with a homography. Stuff are regions that are unknown or that, that have very complex shape and therefore very complex motion. We model these with piecewise smooth flow. Things are objects that move independently, like cars or people. Around these regions, we expect occlusions and we expect two segments with two dominant motions. We model these with a two-layer model and we call them uh, localized layers. In particular, we jointly estimate the motion of the foreground, the background and the segmentation, as well as an occlusion map. And we combine these to obtain much better results. Um, we show experiments on KIDI 2015, where we obtain the top performing um, numbers uh, of all monocular methods. Um, we also show results on YouTube videos, and uh, the, the improvement in performance is particularly noticeable at object boundaries and in thin structures. Here are some more examples. And we have put code and data online. Um, and if you would like to hear more, please come to our poster this afternoon. Thanks. <laughs>